day and welcome back to another adventure with sea life jamaica guys and hope you guys are having a wonderful day and today guys i'm going to prepare some fishes that me catch in our previous videos that that me mentioned that i'm going to do a cook up so today is the day guys that i'm going to do the cook up so this is what me have to prepare today guys yes guys so if you remember these fishes that me spear in a jellyfish water yeah man few small fish as well when me did go do some line fishing me catch these one or those one yeah man so today me I go prepare some rice and peas already put on the peas today me I go prepare some rice and peas and curry fish yeah man some curry you know so my hard man style in idea so this is what me have guys irish onion scallion thyme maggi fish season maggi all purpose maggi chicken don't know say curry yeah okra two egg don't know so me have two eggs here me because me have plan to look for some mashed potato you know Look bone and look vegetable same way. And what I'm gonna do as well guys, reason being for two coconut milk, I'm going to cook down the fish them after I finish fry them up curry. I'm going to cook down the fish them in some coconut milk. Yeah man, I don't know so I have a great vegetable oil. Yeah man. Rice, sweet pepper, carrot, yeah man, too nice seasoning pepper as well yes guys so me think that's it yeah man so as me say guys fire already catch peas up on fire peas are cook i'm on the fire red peas up on the fire about 20 minutes now so yes guys stay tuned to sea life jamaica thanks for tuning in to see life Jamaica as always we are on a journey so what I'm going to do now I'm going to cut up the fish them and look to get them seasoned up meanwhile the peas are cooked yes guys so stay tuned <laughs> Yes guys, so I just finished clean up the fish them, wash them off with some vinegar already. Yeah man. So what I'm going to do now guys, I'm going to season up them. 
is almost done cooked same way so what I'm going to do now guys I'm going to season up the fish then Yes guys, so I just finished seasoning up the fish then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add the curry. So I'm going to use one whole of curry. When I cook, them, cook, cook down the fish, I'm going to use some more curry but I'm going to only burn the curry to give the fish them a nice color, you know. So what I'm going to do now guys, I'm going to mix up the curry and the fish then so everything can get a little taste of the curry rubbing then you know rubbing the seasoning Yes, I'm finished cooked guys well so so what I'm going to do now guys I'm going to take off the peas add some coal in the fire Make the fire catch up and look to start. Get the fish them curry. Yeah man, because I now want to cook the rice guys and put down the rice to cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fry the fish them first and curry them and cook them down and after I put on back the rice. So the fire catch up here now. Go and put on the frying pot. Put on the frying pot. Wait for the frying pot at some here and add in some oil. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add in some cooking oil, make the cooking oil hot, so I can start adding the fish then. I'm going to add a piece of pepper in the cooking oil and make it burn out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start putting the fish them now in the oil. I'm going to do now guys, I'm going to give the fish them their first turn. Yes guys. 
this is the color that I'm looking for. Looking good. Yes, guys, so the first set of fish them finished fry and all. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take them out and add in some more fish. Yes guys, so the third set of fish them finish fryer now. Just add in a few more pieces in I put the same way. Um, about so three pieces of fish left to fry. So as soon as the fish them finish fry or as soon as I add in the last set of fish them in I pot, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the vegetable them ready what we're going to use to cook down the curry fish and as me say guys we're going to cook down we're going to cook down the fish in some coconut milk yeah man so put on back your rice and peas as soon as the fish finish yeah man so what i'm going to do now i'm going to take out the last set of fish then Take off this pot, add two pieces of coal in a fire. After I finish do that guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut up the vegetable them. I'm going to cut up the vegetable them, I'm going to use to cook down the fish.
guys so me just finish cut up the item them we're going to use and cook down the curry fish yeah man them looking clean and pretty clean up the irish them as well we're going to use to make the mashed potato yeah man so i'm going to do now guys we're going to cut them up and put on the frying pot Put on the frying pot. Soon as the frying pot at, going to drop a little bit of cooking oil and add piece of butter. Add some curry as well. Make the curry burn out. I'm gonna look to start adding the ingredients. Them. Yes guys, so I just finished cut up the vegetable that we are going to use and cook down the fish. Just add a piece of butter in, I, in the frying pot as well and, look, and a little cooking oil. So what I am going to do, I am going to add a little curry in the pot and make it go and, go and burn out to give the fish them some pretty color or a brighter color <laughs> Yes guys, so I just mix out one of the coconut milk. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to add some height. Yes guys, it's a good look. Guys, I wish you guys could have smell this. Smell the aroma that is coming out of the pot right now. It's a crazy smell, guys, I swear. So, what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to cover up the pot and make the vegetable them go and cook going to add in the fish them in the next five to ten minutes so what I'm going to do now I'm going to cut up the Irish them what I'm going to use to make the crushed Irish yeah man I'm going to cut up the Irish them and cook them in the house I already put on the pot already and put in the two egg that I'm going to use stay tuned guys I'm going to cut them up now and put them in the pot Yes guys, the vegetable them 
actually cook now then half cook wish you guys could smell what I'm smelling right now so what I'm going to do now guys I'm going to add in the fish then always wash me on first guys before me touch any type of food not because you guys might not see me wash my hand you know but me always wash my hand first guys Curry fish cooked down with coconut milk. I'm on sea life, we you know. So add some more coconut milk on it now. Yes guys, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover up the pot, give it a few minutes, after a few minutes, add some seasoning. Yeah man, so it's a, it is a good look guys, stay tuned. <music> guys so me just add some seasoning in the pot add little water as well what i'm going to do now i'm going to give the pot one one shape because i don't want the fish them stick yeah yes guys so i'm going to cover up i'm going to cover up the pot and give it one five minutes Make the pot simmer down and then take it off in the next five minutes. Yes guys, so I'm going to take off the pot now. Give the pot a one shake and take off it. Don't want the gravy dry out. Or the sauce. So I'm going to put on back the peas now, add some water in it, and as soon as the peas start boil up, I start cook the rice and peas, start adding the ingredients then, yeah man, so stay tuned guys, we're getting somewhere, food so start eat. Yes guys, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pick the rice, pick the rice and give it one quick wash, look to put it in my pot. Rice look clean still. Rice 
it's looking clean. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to mix out the coconut milk in some water, in about a cup of water, and add in the scallion, thyme and garlic in the rice pot, in the rice and peas pot. Take off the Irish and make it cool. Yes, guys. So my sister, I deal with the mashed potato for me. Mashed potato with mayonnaise and egg on it. You know the combination, guys. So right now she has add some small piece of sweet pepper, some small piece of bell pepper. She going to add piece of butter as well. Yeah man. Soon as them egg they cool as well, she going to crack them out. <laughs> I'm going to add this in my, um, my refrigerator for chill for about uh, 5 minutes. Yes guys, so I'm just adding the rice in my pot. Scallion and thyme, pepper, garlic, peas, everything in my pot. You know, guys. I'm going to add some salt as well. So what am I going to do? I'm going to cover up the pot, make the pot. Make the rice go and steam. As soon as the rice start dry down, the water and I pot start dry down. I'm going to add two ounces of butter. Yes, guys, so I'm going to add in some butter now.
this guys so I'm going to know I'm going to cover up back the pot make the rice go and simmer yes guys so the rice and peas finish now so I'm going to do guys I'm going to take off the pot and start share yeah man is a lovely look guys rice and peas looking good yeah man, so I'm going to take off the pot guys and share So see you guys when I finish share so Guys, so this is the end result Just finish share out the plate them The rice and peas and curry fish With mashed potato Yes guys, so it is a lovely look, you know Multiple plate So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to eat my food, shell my plate. Thanks for watching and I'm going to make my sister close off the video for me. So stay tuned guys. <music> Ah yeah, it tastes good. Now it tastes fish now. Yeah, it tastes good. So thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe, peace, I'm out. Hey.